So welcome back to our next vlog. I'm sorry I've not been online for a little while. As you know, I had a bit of an accident, had a bit of a spill. So instead of making kind of like boring videos about my recovery, just spent a bit of time kind of recuperating, getting fit again. So finally we're in a position where I can get rid of this thing, hallelujah. I literally broke my wrist in three places, also my ring finger and my uh, elbow. So. I was out of action for a few months, but uh, like I said, uh, now back riding, which is uh, amazing. Things aren't the same for my friend Barrett. Unfortunately, he took the worst of the spill. Uh, he's unfortunately broke his back, uh, his legs, his shoulder, ribs punctured lungs. Barry came off it really badly, but uh, he's had great care. He's a real tough son of a gun and um, he's making it through. So day by day, slowly but surely, Barry's getting better. And he's uh, told me he can't wait to be back on a motorcycle. We both want to say thank you for all of your well wishes. It's been totally amazing. It's just that that keeps us going as motorcyclists because we know what it's like when we're out there. We're in the elements, uh, anything can happen. And sometimes the worst does. This thing, saved my life. The RI crash helmet, full face helmet. I took a real bash to the head. I came out of it pretty unscathed. And the motorcycle crash helmet is the thing that's gonna save your life. So anybody who's watching this, I just have to say to you, uh, I don't want any of you to have an accident and for it to be the last time you ride a motorcycle. So please wear a helmet, wear the best one you possibly can. I wear an RI because I believe in it. It saved myself for so many times racing it fits like no other helmet it also is made like no other helmet is made value your head don't wear no helmet i know in certain parts of america in certain parts of the world you can get away with uh, not wearing a helmet just please don't just please don't, just please don't. <laughs> so I've just come back from an adventure and I'm super stoked about that because it's the first time I've been on a motorcycle for months. I took my CBR 600 adventure bike and took it for a rip, took it down to downtown, met up with Max Hazan. He's got an amazing land speed bike. So I was allowed to check that out. We'd heard about this dry lake bed out in the desert near Joshua Tree. That's all a part of the next episode. So if you love custom motorcycles and just chit chat between buddies, the next Moto Geo adventure is coming up soon. We've also got some really great adventures planned. I'm going to be heading out to South Dakota to meet the guys from Strider. Now you see that little Strider bike there? That's my son's old Strider bike. He ripped around on that from when he was about two to five. Literally until the wheels nearly fell off it. He loves that thing. So I'm heading out to South Dakota and I'm going to go ride with the guys from Strider. Also meet up with the guys from the Dakota 600 and we're gonna do some amazing riding out in South Dakota. Now that's just before Sturgis, so we hope to also make it out to that rally in some way. Uh, what else has been going on? Uh, well, while I've been laid up, thankfully, Alex has been busy. Now I've been going to Wheels and Waves every year since it started, and this year I was supposed to be riding in the Punks Peak race on a pretty awesome Royal Enfield drag bike. Anyway, I bust myself up, it didn't happen. But Alex went over there and captured loads of action. So we've got a little video from Wheels and Waves coming up. He's also been ripping around on a Benelli 500 around the gorgeous streets in northern Italy. Beautiful mountain passes. So we've got a review coming up for you. So, ton of stuff coming up. But the best thing is I'm back on a motorcycle. I'm here to try and inspire you to go ride. Watch out for the next episode of Motor Geo. It's coming up real soon. Let us know in the comments what you think because we've had a little style change to the episode. You are our audience. Tell us what you think. I can't wait to go out there and ride with you all soon. So anyway, gear up. Wear the best gear that you can. Ride free. Have a load of fun and live the moment. Enjoy the ride. Awesome. I'm back on a motorcycle finally and I've just come back from that. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so, um, so that's... Uh, uh, what was I supposed to ride? Oh yeah, the... Um, <laughs> Pikes Peak. Mountain. Good gosh, we're going to have so many for the credits, Elijah.